the biggest risk is not taking any risk. Don't discount yourself, no matter what you're doing, everyone has a unique perspective that they can bring to the world. People developed planes first and then took care of flight safety. If people were focused on safety first, no one would ever have built a plane. I think a simple rule of business is, if you do the things that are easier first, then you can actually make a lot of progress. If you don't risk anything, you risk everything. If things aren't breaking, then you're not moving fast enough. People learn by making mistakes. When you want to change things, you can't please everyone. If you do please everyone, you aren't making enough progress. People think innovation is just having a good idea, but a lot of it is just moving quickly and trying a lot of things. If you actually do something you love, it's a lot easier and takes on a lot more purpose. The biggest risk is not taking any risk. In a world that is changing really quickly, the only strategy that is guaranteed to fail is not taking risks. Move fast, take risks. It's okay to try big things. You're better off trying something and having it not work and learning from that than having not done anything at all. My number one piece of advice is, you should learn how to program. Find that thing you are super passionate about. If we want to have the biggest impact, the best way to do this is to make sure we always focus on solving the most important problems. People influence people. Nothing influences people more than a recommendation from a trusted friend. A trusted referral influences people more than the best broadcast message. A trusted referral is the holy grail of advertising. The trick isn't adding stuff, it's taking it away. You grow more when you get more people's perspective. Move fast and break things. Unless you're breaking stuff, you are not moving fast enough. My goal was never to just create a company. A lot of people misinterpret that as if I don't care about revenue or profit or any of those things. But what not being just a company means to me is not being just that, building something that actually makes a really big change in the world. Having two identities for yourself is an example of a lack of integrity. I would only hire someone to work directly for me if I was willing to work for that person. The most important thing is to keep your team as small as possible. I'm trying to make the world a more open place by helping people connect and share. Helping a billion people connect is amazing humbling and by far the thing I'm most proud of in my life. By giving people the power to share, we're making the world more transparent. Books allow you to fully explore a topic and immerse yourself in a deeper way than most media today. I'm looking forward to shifting more of my media diet towards reading books. In a world that's changing so quickly, you're guaranteed to fail if you don't take any risks. Simply put, we don't build services to take money, we make money to build better services.
building a mansion and building a business go hand in hand. Don't discount yourself no matter what you're doing. I'm here to build something for the long term, anything else is a distraction. Almost any mistake you can make in running a company, I've probably made. There is a huge need and a huge opportunity to get everyone in the world connected, to give everyone a voice, and to help transform society for the future. The scale of the technology and infrastructure that must be built is unprecedented, and we believe this is the most important problem we can focus on. I don't want to be in a situation where I have to leave some other commitment or worse, I am rude and someone else has to support my stuff. I stopped coding for Facebook a while ago. It's really important for us that people understand what the strategy is and the real approach is to make everything social, not to build a vertical approach. I generally think if you do good things for people in the world, that comes back and you benefit from it over time. Young people are just smarter. When you give everyone a voice and give people power, the system usually ends up in a really good place. So, what we view our role as is giving people that power. I got my first computer in the sixth grade or so. As soon as I got it, I was interested in finding out how it worked and how the programs worked, and then figuring out how to write programs at just deeper and deeper levels within the system. If you just work on stuff that you like and you're passionate about, you don't have to have a master plan with how things will play out. It's important for young entrepreneurs to be adequately self-aware, to know what they do not know. I think that people just have this core desire to express who they are, and I think that's always existed. There's a difference between being obsessed and being motivated. The companies that work are the ones that people really care about and have a vision for the world, so do something you like. Companies face a handful of different tasks, whether it's competitors or different market environments, but I think that people focus way too much on competitors and not enough on their own execution. What Facebook stands for in the world is giving people a voice and spreading ideas and rationalism. I'd like to show an improved product rather than just talk about things we might do. The Hacker Way is an approach to building that involves continuous improvement and iteration. Hackers believe that something can always be better and that nothing is ever complete. Every application will be designed from the ground up to use real identity and friends. The question I ask myself almost every day is, am I doing the most important thing I could be doing? Unless I feel like I'm working on the most important problem that I can help with, then I'm not going to feel good about how I'm spending my time. And that's what this company is. In a recent survive of millennials around the world, asking what most defines our identity, the most popular wasn't nationality, ethnicity, or religion. It was citizen of the world. That's a big deal. Every generation expands the circle of people we consider one of us. And in our generation, the now includes the whole world. This is the struggle of our time. The forces of freedom, openness, and global community against the forces of authoritarianism, isolationism, and nationalism, 
forces for the flow of knowledge, trade and immigration against those who would slow them down. Our mission is to make the world more open and connected. We do this by giving people the power to share whatever they want and be connected to whoever they want, no matter where they are. I started the site when I was 19. I didn't know much about business back then. All of my friends who have younger siblings who are going to college or high school, my number one piece of advice is, you should learn how to program. People don't care about what someone says about you in a movie, or even what you say, right? They care about what you build.